Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts Farm 4 as we are playing with the United States of America. All right, guys, so uh, before I started recording here, I started to kind of arranging our fleets, kind of getting this prepared because, you know, war will probably be breaking out. Not this, I mean, war might break out in this episode here, uh, but it, we won't be involved. But by next episode, we actually might find ourselves in a conflict, maybe with Venezuela. I don't know. We'll have to see, guys. But yeah, so I, I went ahead and started getting the fleets assembled, or at least over here on this Atlantic side of things. Uh, essentially, we have our Atlantic subs over here with 37 subs. Uh, I split the fleet into two. Uh, we got an Atlantic fleet, which is a really small fleet, which is, uh, you know, going to cover kind of the, the homeland area here, which probably is not going to be necessary. I mean, the main thing that they're going to be for is probably replacements for uh, the casualties that we're going to be taking over here in the European fleet. Now the European fleet has 60 ships here. Uh, we're rocking two or two the two uh, carriers that we have over here on the Atlantic side of things. Five battleships, two heavy cruisers, five light cruisers, and 46 destroyers. Uh, so this is the fleet that we're going to be sending into Europe. Uh, first, probably going to be going into the Mediterranean, uh, and I think it will be a plenty large enough size fleet. Uh, it might take some casualties, but remember we're going to have the British fleet over here helping us out. We're going to be trying to take out the Italians here. Uh, also, we're going to be using some air air support over here to try and, uh, you know, assist our fleet to make sure we're able to take them out. Uh, and then after that we deal with the Mediterranean side of things, we'll, we'll try and uh, make sure that the German fleet gets taked out, taken out as well, if we can. Uh, obviously, if they take Denmark really quick and they lock down the Baltic, then, you know, we won't be able to get in there and destroy their fleet. Uh, but, yeah, that's really going to be the purpose of that fleet. We also have a fleet over here in Panama, just 10 destroyers. I, I don't know. We might just leave them there, have them patrol around here. I don't know exactly what we're going to do with those just yet. Uh, over here we have 112 ships right now, the 90 that we had in the 22. Uh, I think we built all these. I'm not entirely sure though. Uh, but yeah, we have uh, 112 ships right now. And what we're going to do over here is we're going to try and assemble three fleets, guys. We'll not count the submarines. Obviously, submarines will be in their own separate fleet. Uh, we'll have one home fleet just kind of cover this area. I mean, obviously, the Japanese, they can't, they can't invade. Uh, they, they're not close enough. I, they, I think they're close enough to invade Alaska. I'm not even positive of that, though, if they'll be able to invade over here. Uh, but yeah, they're not going to. Uh, but we'll keep a fleet over here just in case, and also they can be used for, you know, replacements as we uh, take casualties over here in the war against Japan. Now, we're going to have two fleets, guys. Now, and the reason for that, obviously, it and it hurts fire and it's often best to like put all your ships in one big old fleet uh you know so that you can you know get the the enemy fleet uh wiped out and make sure that you win take as little casualties as possible however uh this is just too large of an area for us to cover one fleet so we're gonna have two fleets uh yeah because this is one two three four five yeah we'll probably cover like have one covering like these areas here another one covering over here not exactly sure what the layout of it will be just yet uh but they'll be deploying from our bases over here in the pacific which we probably would want to we i mean we could do it from the port over here which is size five uh but that is not gonna be large enough for repairs um, so I, I don't know that I want to do it from there. Uh, we might have to build up this one as well, because I think that's the only one that we have that is close. Uh, we do have this one too, uh, Wake Island. You know, there's far more things that are threatened uh, over here. I don't want them taking all the United Kingdom uh, ports that they're probably not going to protect very well. So, you know, I think we are going to work out of Wake Island uh, and then just kind of patrol up this way with that fleet. Uh, and then we'll have the other fleet uh, coming out of the Philippines here, and they'll be covering uh, these three regions right here although this is its own region so it's going to be these three excuse me these three regions right here is what they'll be covering uh and they'll just have to work out of the largest port that we have here uh which is uh this one their capital uh and, and that'll be fine it's, it's obviously not optimal there are other ports though that might be a little bit we could work out of hong kong i think hong kong's fairly large uh but then we have to contend with the the british fleet there uh so yeah there's a lot of options on where we're going to assign the fleet uh and we'll get well once we deal once we get this fleet built out then we'll deal with that the other thing that we need to do is we need to get make sure that we have divisions in every single one of our ports uh, to protect all our ports. Now I've been looking around here and it seems that uh, it's just uh, uh, Samoa over here doesn't have a uh, division so we need to assign one there and then Hawaii uh, also it has the port protected but I would like to get this uh, province protected as well just to make sure that they're not able to um, you know take our air base from us because uh, we're going to want to use that to to bomb their any fleets that might be coming through here so we need to get two more uh, divisions over there which means that we're going to have to get those built out because I think we do need more reserve divisions now the other thing that I took care of on I uh, know before we started recording here was this was brought up in the comments is the fact that we have a lot of National Guard units and looking at their design here it's it's not terrible uh, but the problem right now is to fix this, this is gonna require us to get use our army experience and I don't really want to have two infantry designs right now 
Uh, I mean, we, we'll probably keep this. We won't delete it. We'll probably just convert all of them over to infantry design to the infantry uh, divisions over here since that's what we're working with. There's so much other stuff I want to use an army experience for that I don't want to be messing with the National Guard divisions. So although it's, you know, not exactly accurate getting rid of all the National Guards, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to be getting rid of them for now. So we're going to be switching all of them up, uh, and that's why I changed their logo so that we can easily switch this up. Now, I believe that there's a way to switch up an entire uh, you know, every division using that design. You can switch them up all at the same time, uh, but I don't, I don't remember how. Uh, I could have swore that there was though, uh, but I don't remember how to do it. So we're just going to be switching them this way. Uh, as you guys can see, we're going to be gaining manpower and infantry equipment while it's going to, you know, take more artillery support and motorized equipment. Well, that's fine. Uh, switch all those up, and I think is it Alaska? I think there's one more because it said 19, and we only had uh, 18 available. Yeah, so there's one more, not in Alaska. Where would it be? Hawaii, maybe? Let's check. Yep, Hawaii. There we go. So we're going to get these guys changed up as well. All right, excellent. All right, guys, so the next thing I want to do is I want to get us some uh, reserve uh, divisions built up. We already saw that we need two more uh, for those two Pacific Islands over there. Uh, and then I think we're going we're to need some to protect our coast as well. Uh, because I don't think we're going to be... Uh, we're going to build five more of these uh in addition, uh, but I, I don't think we're gonna leave any regular uh, units over here, guys, in, in our homeland. Uh, I mean, we do have to worry about, you know, Mexico uh, and Canada and, you know, getting frosty, perhaps. You know, Canada's got those national focuses uh, that uh, lead them, that could possibly lead them down the fascist or communist route. They are on the non historical uh, national focuses, so that's always a possibility. Uh, Mexico, I've never seen them do anything before, but you never know what could happen. Uh, yeah, I mean, we do have, there is the potential risk that we could end up seeing uh, something happen here, but I think it's pretty low. So I think just leaving reserve units will be fine. Uh, you know, we, we don't have to actually worry about. Uh, you know, naval invasions on our coast, uh, but you never know. So I think we should, you know, we'll, we'll build 20 of these. That's what we're going to do. Uh, 20, and these are going to be pretty much all that we have uh, in the homeland area. Uh, yeah, and I think it'll be fine. It, it'll be all right. Uh, let's go and get these guys assigned to their unit here, and everything is looking good. Uh, and then the other thing that was brought up in the comments, guys, is uh, the Navy here. Uh, we, I had these guys assigned to uh, uh, auto deploy. I didn't have them uh, assigned to their to their ports where we wanted them. Well, I got that fixed uh, before I started recording here. So now they're all uh, assigned to deploy to San Diego, which San Diego is actually a larger port than Los Angeles. I should have known that. I used to live in San Diego. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get them all deployed over here to uh, San Diego. Um, and yeah, I think we can go ahead and get started here. It took long enough. Um, yeah, we. It took quite a while to get that setup going. Um, but, you know, that's that's expected. Um, you know, as you're kind of getting ready, preparing for the war here. Um, hmm. You know what? Let me just see here. Do we want? Do we want to get our air force ready? Um, as well. You know what? I think we are gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and uh, I don't know why I slowed that down. I could have just paused that. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the the air force ready too um, by just not not assigning them. But what I like to do, guys, is I like to um, get rid of all of the uh, air wings that you start out with uh, because I, you know I don't I don't really like you know the numbers that they have them assigned to. And then of course uh, you don't know where they're 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 at, and you know you gotta move them around and stuff. It just I just find it far easier. Uh, to just um, delete all the air wings and then kind of redeploy them myself. All right, excellent. Uh, so yeah, we'll we'll do that in time. We're, we actually don't need to to assign them just yet. But yeah, we can see how many planes we have now uh, because of that, uh, which is awesome. See exactly what we're working with. Oh, tactical bombers. We need to get tactical bombers. We don't have any of those yet. So uh, let's let's do that. Let's uh, we we have a uh, factory. It just so happens. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, get the tactical bombers built now. Uh, we'll just put them underneath the the naval bombers. I think I'm gonna be fine. All right, let's just get in place. There we go. So tactical bombers, we've been down, been down there at the bottom. Um, and it looks like we're good on resources. Everything's looking excellent. All right, so yeah, we wanted to get those tactical bombers going uh, so that we can, uh, you know, be able to bomb the uh, the Germans. Um, let's just see if any of these guys are trained up. Yes, some of them are. Let's go. I don't know that their, their strength isn't all the way up, so they might lose this. Uh, I don't know. We'll put them back in there if they do, though. Uh, and we can now modify our government. Awesome. Uh, let's go in and get, well... 
what do we want to get? We can get the war industrialist, military factory construction speed, uh, and the dockyard construction speed, or we can go with the theorist. Those are kind of the two that I'm, I'm looking at right now, uh, which one we want to get right now. Uh, because, yeah, I don't think we can, yeah, we can't change up our, our manpower laws just yet. Um, though, look at that, all that manpower we got. Wow, I thought we just built a bunch of stuff. I thought we had like 80,000 left or something like that. Could be wrong. Uh, but what, what are we going to do here? I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for the war industrialist first. Uh, and the reason for that is because we are building a lot of military factories right now. Uh, and then after this, we're going to be building dockyards. So I think it would be really good uh, to get him so we can build those a little bit faster. Um, and then it looks like we're short on one chromium. That's fine. That's not a big deal. And do any of these guys, are any of these guys like, uh, yeah, they all do need to be trained up. Let's just throw them all into the army. We could put them in their, to their own separate armies um, so they don't have to move to Texas. Uh, cause yeah, I don't, I don't know about how you guys feel about Texas. I was not a big fan of Texas. So, you know, I kind of feel bad making everybody train in Texas. <laughs> Some people love Texas. I know Texan, Texans are hardcore, um, you know, faithful to their state, which one of the fun, funny things about in the army is you meet people from all different, uh, you know, all different locations around the United States. Uh, even people from foreign countries, actually, we got a lot of people, you know, who come to America and then decide to join the army, uh, cause there's a lot of benefits to doing so, especially as a foreigner. Uh, and you know, I meet people from all these different states and there's two states where they are just like super super like loyal to the state they're always talking about their state and that's california and texas uh you're always talking about it. i think we're gonna get the the thompsons next or no no let's let's work on industry uh we're close enough to 1939 i think we should go ahead and start working on industry let's get this dispersed industry three yeah we're only a couple days away from uh 1939 in fact uh but yeah texans sure are uh, uh they sure do love their state um, I, I was not a big fan. I did not enjoy it. Uh, it wasn't so much Texas. I just had a bad experience while there. And then you kind of associate it with the state. It's kind of being like that right now where I live. I live in Colorado and you know, it hasn't been great. Our life hasn't been great since we've been here. Uh, and it's not that we don't like Colorado. It's just, we're having a really bad experience while here. And that's, that's kind of impacting our view of Colorado. So if things continue this way, I might, you know, view Colorado just poorly as I view, view Texas now. Uh, so maybe I'm just, and I've lived all over this country, guys. We're going to go ahead and get this military factory assigned. We're going to put it into, I think we're going to really start putting into artillery because we need a lot of artillery right now. So yeah, we'll probably start investing pretty heavily into that. Let's go and put two more factories into that, actually. I think that'd be wise. Although, we also have the M3 Stewarts. So maybe we want to get some more of those built out. I'm going to change up our light tanks here, get that uh, changed. And do we want to put another factory towards them? I almost say we do. Just one more factory. Well, let's let's go ahead and do that. Let's go and pump more factory into there. We're just gonna get these kind of preemptively assigned since we're building uh, a lot of these right now. I also want to get one more naval bomber. I think that'd probably be wise as well. Um, and oh, anti tanks. Damn. Yeah, we need to get those as well. Okay. Well, we're gonna get those placed. Uh, they're gonna be right underneath our artillery. We're gonna put the motorized under the light tanks. I think. Okay. Let's go ahead and get them moved up to the top here. Our uh, anti tanks. All right. Excellent. And they'll get a factory whenever we give them. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and get a new tech because we just did get the M3 Stewarts. Uh, I'm really tempted to go ahead and get the, uh, you know, light self-propelled artillery. Um, might be wise. Uh, but the, the howitzers over here. Uh, but maybe we should keep on concentrating on industry. I think we should. Let's let's keep on concentrating on industry. We'll get those later. Uh, yeah, we really want to uh, make sure that, oh, man, we're getting all kinds of stuff here. All right, well, let's just stop this for a second uh, and then go ahead and get these guys pulled out. Don't need them training unnecessarily. Uh, and there, it looks like there's a few more down here at the bottom that I missed. Okay, go ahead and pull those out as well. Uh, and then, yeah, we got decryption, so we're going to need to go ahead and select a new tech there. I don't think there's anything else for us to get over here. Uh, I th think we're going to go ahead and get the, the Thompsons. Let's go ahead and grab that up. And then uh, for the national focus, well, we'll look at what this is here. This is the prepare intervention. This is going to change our economic law. Uh, to isolation, which means we're going to have a lot more civilian factories because we don't need as many for the consumer goods. Uh, also, we're going to be able to construct those military factories a lot faster, which is awesome. Uh, and our lend lease tension limit has been decreased by negative 15%. I wonder if we can lend lease to China now. Huh. Yeah, that's something we're going to want to take a look at, guys. Uh, we'll, we'll look at that as soon as we finish over here, uh, selecting a new national focus. Uh, what do we want to get? I think from what 
from what I'm seeing in the comments, almost everybody wants us to do the, the Venezuela one. I didn't even really, I, I really should have done this earlier, guys. It's like 1939 here, and we we should we could have got an early war knocked out against Venezuela, and we did not because I didn't even really think about it, guys. I, I'm surprised by just how much I have forgotten the national focus tree for the U.S. Like I said, it has been a long time uh, since I, I uh, played this. What was that that we just got doing? There's something that we need to be aware of. Oh yes, I wanted to look at China. Uh, but yeah, it's it's been over a year since I, I played uh, as as uh, America. I know it was over a year because it was before the game came out, before it officially released. And yeah, it's it's been a long time, guys. Uh, and I didn't go to war with Venezuela last time either because I was I became their ally because I played a fascist uh, U.S. Okay, so China here. We want to see if we can offer them loan lease. We can, though. I don't think we have anything to offer them. No, we don't. Yeah, we really don't have anything right now. Hmm. I would really like to give them some infantry equipment. Because uh, I'm sure that they're not really using it in any other division designs. Infantry equipment and artillery is really the only thing I can see them using. Uh, I think that the giving them planes would be a waste. Uh, let's just see if we have some really old plane models uh, to give them. Uh, I think we might. So our old plane models are the Hawks. We currently have 384 of those. Yeah, let's, let's give them some Hawks, guys. Uh, do we have any, any interwar bombers? No, we don't. I think that's what they're called for the U.S., right? Oops, my bad. Wrong one. Uh, I want to see if that's what they're called. Uh, they're called the Bolos. I wonder if we have any uh, Bolos there. Because, um, yeah, the interwar bomber, I don't know what I'm thinking. That's the generic term. Of course, the U.S. has all unique names. Uh, the Bolos, I wonder if we have any of those. No, we do not. Or not that I'm seeing. Nope. All right, well, we'll give them these Hawks. Sure, why not? Uh, let's we'll just do a, a one-time uh, you know, contribution here of, like, 200 uh, fighters and I don't know how much that's gonna help them at the very least they're gonna destroy the you know Japanese planes which that's helpful uh, and I don't see what else we, we would use in these four we're gonna try and assist the US the best that we can there's really not anything else for us to give them guys um, that I think would be useful because we, we don't have anything else stockpiled right now um, and none of this none of these other things would be useful and I'm not giving them any of those I'm, I mean suppose you know what we will give them 10 tanks <laughs> no, that's not 10. Yeah, we'll, we'll give them 10 tanks, guys. Um, 10 M2 light tanks. Uh, send those to them. That's not going to help them at all. But here you go. Here's 10 tanks, China. Uh, have fun with that. Uh, so, yeah, they should accept that. And Czechoslovakia uh, has now been annexed uh, over here by Germany. That means that all that's left is this little sliver of Slovakia. Uh, but there must be peace in our time, right? Must be peace. Okay, uh, so did Poland get these other, uh, the, the Baltic countries into their faction yet? No, they did not. Interesting. Uh, let's just kind of swing around and see what he's doing. Defensive focus over here in Poland. Uh, Germany is reassert Eastern claims. Uh, France, extra research slot. Okay, that's smart. Get that. Development in Canada over there for the UK. Uh, UK definitely seems to be concentrating on their colonies right now, or their, not really the colonies, their dominion, the Commonwealth. Triumph in Africa over here in Italy. Uh, who else do we need to look at? Soviet Union. Improving their railway network. Let me just pause this while we scroll over. Uh, and then Japan over here is Army Motorization. We got the North Carolina class, which I believe is Battleships, I think. I think it's Battleship. Um, yeah, it's Battleship. So we got our Battleship 2s. The only one we don't have right now is the Heavy Cruisers. Uh, and you know what? I don't... I don't know that we're going to concentrate on that. We're America. We've got massive production. I mean, heavy cruisers do, do have their use for sure, even if you do have battleships. Uh, but I don't think we're going to invest in that right now just because it needs so many other things. Uh, so, yeah, we're not going to get that. We're going to get something else. There's just a lot of stuff that I would like to, to have instead. Uh, we could get over get over here and get this, this industry. We already got a lot of things investing in industry. We're already getting that. Um, you know what I think we're going to do? I think we're going to get the artillery. I think that would be uh, really, really smart to grab that up since we're, we're investing a lot of our military factories into artillery. So um, it would be good to be pumping out the best artillery that we can provide. Wow, all these guys are, are ready to be pulled out here. Okay, and we're just going to leave them in Africa. I'm not too worried about the army right now. We'll get all this situated when we actually find ourselves in, in a war. Uh, although, if we are going to be fighting Venezuela, then we're going to want to get some divisions over here uh, soon. You know what? We got plenty of time. Uh, we're not actually doing that um, national focus just yet, so we'll wait until we actually have the national focus uh, before we, you know, put any units over here. Um, yeah, it, it's fine. Uh, we'll put it like, oh, China has capitulated already. I just gave them, damn, 
Damn it. <laughs> so Japan just got the equipment that we gave them, apparently. So that really sucks. China has already capitulated. They got defeated. It seems that us giving them equipment made the situation worse, I guess. They got overambitious because we gave them fucking planes, I guess. Uh, so China has capitulated. That means that they have the reorganized nationalist China, which is going to be in the, uh, the fascist faction, the Axis. Um, yeah, they have another one over here. So essentially the war just got more difficult. Uh, now we have to fight all these countries as well. Uncertain times for sure. Uh, yeah, Japan did the damn thing, guys. Yeah, they did it against against China. Uh, remember, we did tick them up, you know, two difficulties. Uh, and I think China didn't get any. They might have got one. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but yeah, that's... That sucks. Yeah, we're going to have to fight all of, uh, all, all of those countries over there now. But that's all right. It's going to make it challenging and make it fun. Uh, are we lacking just just that chromium? Okay, we have outdated equipment. Oh, the uh, Colorado class. That's right. Uh, well, how much production do we have going over here? How much is that? If I wanted to switch that up, that's 216 days of production. Uh, no, <laughs> we are not going to switch that up. Uh, we're just going to change just the one, let the one battleship build, and then we'll get the uh, battleship twos. Uh, we are going to start working on dockyards, guys. Obviously, that's why it's taking us so long to build anything over there. Is yeah, We just don't have very many dockyards. Uh, and we will uh, start focusing on that in time, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and move all these over here. Uh, is there anybody else that currently needs to be uh, trained up? I think everybody is, is well, no, maybe not. We do have a couple over here that need to be trained. Okay, let's let's get these two. There's quicker ways to do this, but we're doing it this way. <laughs> doing it the long way, because that's how I do it, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and get those guys added to there so they can train up. All right, excellent. Uh, and we do have some civilian factories available as well. How many military factories do we currently have? We have 23, this is gonna get us two more. Uh, that'll be 20, 25, so I wanna get to 30. So let's build Five more military factories, and then we'll work on dockyards, guys. And then we'll do dockyards. Uh, I want the military factories first. Uh, let's put these into... We'll get some over here in the East Coast. Okay, excellent. Yeah, these all have very good modifiers. Um, how many did I just build? I think I just put four. So we need one more. Let's grab one more up. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and do the uh, the dockyards. Um, let's put them into... Uh, we'll put one into Texas and go into California. Yeah, we'll do it like this. Or I think we're going to get like five, five more dockyards. I think that'd be good. Uh, and then one into uh, the uh, northeast over here. Okay, excellent. Um, Pax Americana. Okay, we've got our national focus, which is going to start increasing democracy in the South American countries, uh, which is nice. That'll start ticking up for us. Uh, and then it also gives them an ideology drift defense. So it's gonna be harder for anybody to uh, convert them to another ideology. So I think we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, Venezuelan one now. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We'll grab that up. That means that we are going to want to go ahead and put our army over there. I'm thinking like a full army of 24 divisions under a general. Uh, we won't be able to have them all invade, though, of course. Uh, yeah, that's that's not going to happen. Uh, we're not going to have um, we're not going to have the uh, the technology uh, to to do a full invasion with 24 divisions. I don't know how many we can. I think it's 10. Is it eight, 10, something like that? That's how many we'll be able to send. Uh, we'll take a port and then we'll send the rest of them. Uh, let's go ahead and get uh, any divisions that are over here and just free, not doing anything. I want 24 divisions. Give me 24. That's 25. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get them all placed into. We'll put them in an army now, just because it'll be easier to move them, uh, and then get them all moving over to here. Okay, excellent. So, yeah, they're going to assemble over to here, and it looks like the German Reich has claimed Memel. Our another batch of maps have been made obsolete. Again, damn them. Uh, let's go ahead and get these guys moved over to here. Uh, yeah, because I don't think there's any other way to do this other than naval invasion. Yeah, because you can't attack from neutral territory. And you, what's nice is sometimes you'll have Trinidad, uh, and you can attack from Trinidad. Uh, the United Kingdom has a national focus that gives you Trinidad, um, but we don't have that. So, that means the only way that we're going to be able to do this is with a naval invasion. Uh, so, we got these guys over here. Um, let's go ahead and give them a general. Although, yeah, we're not going to be able to invade with that many. I wonder how many we can invade with. Let's let's just take a look. Uh, we'll see in a second. Let's go ahead and give them a general first. Uh, it's not going to be a field marshal. We're just going to do a regular general. Could do Patton. Love Patton. Could also get somebody trained up here. I don't know if we want to do somebody who's already got the experience or like a newbie. Let's just take a look here. Uh, maybe like a level three person that already has, you know what we should work with? We should get somebody who has some good traits, uh, but doesn't have the experience. Um, yeah, I think that's exactly what we're going to do here. Uh, the Panzer leader is not going to be that beneficial to us. Engineer could be useful. There's some rivers over here that we're going to have to cross. Uh, we might get him, Truscott. 
Let me just see here. Uh, who else would be useful? You know what? Having the commando trait would be incredibly useful over here in the jungle. I think that's exactly who we're going to place over there. Yeah. Let's put Patch over there. Okay. Uh, so he's going to get a little bit of experience. And we are going to attempt to see what how many divisions we could do on a naval invasion here. Um, if I can find the fucking button. Uh, we are going to invade uh, their capital port right there. And I'm just going to see... Uh, how many divisions is going to allow us to do here? Okay, can we assign? Total limit is 10. That's what I was thinking, 10. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take uh, four of the, or four of them, 14 of these divisions out here. And uh, yeah, then we'll we'll better send those 10. Hopefully they'll be able to take it. I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem here. Yeah, let's go and pull those out. Okay, excellent. So get them all, getting a nice little planning bonus, uh, so that we can get this this finished up here. It's gonna be 70 days, which happens to be ex well, no, it looks like we we waited a little bit. Uh, all right, well we'll get that first. It's fine, uh, and then yeah, we'll do the naval invasion over here. That's gonna be next episode though, probably from what I'm guessing. Uh, do we want to get a fleet? Do these guys have any ships? No, they don't. They have no ships, so it's irrelevant. Although we probably do want to put our fleet over here uh, to have them assist with that naval invasion. I think that'd be wise. And we also need to get planes to help uh, assist over here as well. Okay, let's go ahead and do that now. I wanna get them assigned. Uh, we want some close air support. I don't know if they're gonna even build a bomb from over there. That's pretty far away, uh, but we'll attempt to. Uh, we'll get ourselves, uh, well, I didn't wanna do all of them. Damn, I thought it was shift clicking them, but apparently, maybe I was hitting the wrong button. Let's go and get like 200 over here, uh, and then 200 fighters. Uh, where, where is our new fighters? I wanna get the new fighters. Um, is that, yeah, that's alpha ones. All right, it looks like we don't have very many of those. All right, well, what else do we got here? Uh, Interwar fighters, we'll just put 200 of those, it's fine. Okay, uh, and yeah, it looks like we didn't transport any of those fighters, so they didn't even get those uh, yet. And can we come over here? No, it's too far away. All right, well, that's not, you know, extremely surprising that it's, it's too far away. That's fine, we'll leave them there, because uh, they'll have less uh, area that they have to train. I don't know if there's any, uh, where the airports are over here in Venezuela, uh, but, you know, we'll be able to move them a little bit quicker, so it's fine. Uh, and then we're also going to move our fleet over here uh, as well. Uh, we're gonna put, probably not this whole fleet over there, uh, maybe this, this smaller one. Uh, you know what, we could put this large European fleet, why not? Uh, and then we're gonna we're gonna give them a commander, not the best one that we have. We got two level fives. I think we're gonna go ahead and put him over there. Uh, that'll work out nicely. Um, and yeah, we'll move them. We'll move them once we you know actually get into the war. It's, you know, it's, we got like 70 days before we're gonna be able to invade, guys. Uh, so yeah, quite some time still. Uh, how are these guys doing on training? Two of these guys are currently done here. Let's go ahead and get them pulled out. All right, excellent. Uh, and then we might have to stop their training because it looks like they're almost done there and we still haven't got our other units over there. We just got artillery. Uh, the next artillery, my bad, damn it. Clicked on the wrong one. Uh, and did I just do it again? No, I didn't. Okay, it's just not going to the artillery screen. All right, so we've got the new uh, artillery models. So we're gonna have to get those building out here. What do we wanna get next? Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm tending towards the, the howitzers. I think we're gonna get those, the self-propelled howitzers. I think that'd be the best bet right now. Um, just kind of swinging through here, seeing what all we still need. We need that as well. But I think the howitzers would be the best thing to get right now. Let's go and grab those up, the light ones. All right, excellent. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get these self-propelled um, uh, self anti-tanks, you know, the tank destroyers. Probably not. I don't know. I don't want to say that we, we won't. We're, we're, we're just going to have to see, guys. We'll have to see. Uh, where do we want to put this factory here? Uh, we've got the naval bombers going out. I'm building. Um, I think we're going to keep doing artillery. Uh, I really want to get that built out. I want to get some stockpiles going, and we are like really, really short on the artillery. Uh, Disperse Industry 3, that's excellent. We're going to go ahead and get that other industrial tech over here, the advanced machine tools. All right, excellent. And then we'll have almost all of the, the techs for the 1939 industrial techs. I do focus on the industry a lot, guys. I think it's pretty important grabbing up the industry as quickly as possible here. Uh, and I don't want to really build out our armor division yet because they're fucking terrible. Uh, we're going to have to make a lot of adjustments to them. I mean, I guess we could... Um, since we're currently, we do have a stockpile of tanks, I think, of light tanks. Not a lot. Um, you know what? We're going to wait. There's really no reason to rush it because they're not going to be able to train up. Uh, because there's not enough tanks for them, uh, for the division. Uh, for even, you know, one division, probably. I think they need uh, more tanks than that. I kind of think we should build out our fighter production just a little bit. Yeah, let's go and get some more fighters, guys. Uh, I think that would be smart. Uh, and then any of the rest ones we'll, we'll keep putting towards the land equipment. Poland has ceded uh, Danzig. Okay. Adolf Hitler can't be allowed to keep making demands of Europe, but he will. 
Uh, and it looks like we now have our, is it at 50%? Is that right? Yeah, we're at 50% world tension here already. Okay, excellent. Uh, so yeah, we now have our puppet focus on Venezuela, uh, and we're going to make use of that very soon here. Uh, we need to go ahead and get a new national focus first, though. Uh, Black Chamber Operation, I don't know that we're going to get that, guys, um, or just yet anyways. It does let us boost popularity of other ideologies, uh, but the thing here is I don't really want to start a civil war in Brazil and Argentina. Uh, I mean, if you look at them, guys, we're already ticking them up from that other national focus here. Uh, I mean, Brazil is 18%. Argentina is 21%. They're going to tick up on their own, probably become de democracies on their own, might even have a civil war on their own, you know what I mean? I, I just don't I think we really need to do that right now. Uh, so there's just so many other things I would rather have. Uh, that's the main reason. Uh, like military construction. We get us military factories. And most importantly, the giant wakes. This is going to improve our economy, which somebody said you need 50% to change away from isolation. But it looks like it's only 40%. We're at 50 anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, this will get us a civilian economy. Uh, and that would be incredibly useful because we're building so much right now. Uh, so I think we're going to go ahead and get that, actually. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and get that. Uh, and plus, this would also uh, enable this once the world tension gets high enough uh, so that we can uh, give volunteers um, to the allies if we wanted to. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the, the giant wakes one. I think that would be useful because World War II will be breaking out very, very soon, guys. Is there anything here I need to be aware of? No, it looks like we're good. Uh, so we're going to end the episode here. Uh, and the reason for that is because I want to know, you know, in the next episode, we're going to be declaring war on Venezuela. We have our war goal on them, and yeah, we're going to uh, declare war on them. Uh, though we actually, we'll, we'll wait until we get this finished up here. We're still uh, 52 of 70 days right now, and these guys are taking some attrition too. That really sucks. I should have built up the industry here. I did not even think about that. Really should have, or the port. It's the port that's really going to kill us. All right, well, let's, let's do that. Um, we're going to build up the uh, Puerto Rican port over here, and I suppose we can go ahead and give them at least one more point in industry, or uh, my bad, in uh, uh, infrastructure as well. Let's go and boost these up to the top. Uh, make sure that gets built now, though it's probably not going to help as much uh, because, yeah, they're not going to get built before we actually go to war here, I doubt it. But, yeah, we're going to get them anyway. Uh, you know, you never know how long we're going to be in Puerto Rico. What if our invasion fails and we got to come back here and, and launch it again? Yeah, we have no idea what's going to end up happening. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll go and get that. I wish I had done that before because, yeah, we're just sitting here taking this attrition, uh, which sucks. Yeah, that's, that's a bummer. Uh, I didn't even think about that. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, and, and two reasons. Uh, obviously, you know, the time is up. Uh, but on top of that, I also want to know uh, what you guys want us to do with Venezuela. Uh, there's there's two options here. We are the the focus for the war goal was to puppet them, uh, and I'm I'm fine with puppeting them, you know. But the thing is, is we were trying to play a more democratic playthrough, more realistic democratic playthrough, and de democracies certainly do puppet countries for sure. Uh, but they don't do that a lot. Uh, that's that's fairly rare that they're actually creating full on puppets as as we know them here in Hearts of Iron. Uh, so I I don't think that's the most accurate thing. Uh, and there's several people in the comments that were you know uh, several people uh, that were stating that they didn't want us doing stuff like that. That you know we're not gonna. I already decided we're not annexing any territory in this this uh, playthrough as that's not um, that's not what you know the democracies would do so not gonna be annexing in territory but as far as puppeting although i was thinking that you couldn't even puppet uh as a democracy i could be wrong um but i, I could have swore you couldn't even puppet as democracy uh but if you can can puppet as democracy do you want to do that uh even though it would you know not really fit with what we're trying to do here or should we just let them be free and change them over to a democracy uh, because that's kind of what i'm i'm trending towards is that we should we should conquer them uh defeat them and then force them into democracy. I think that'd be the best thing to do. Uh, and yeah, it's still helpful. This war is still immensely helpful besides the experience that you're getting for your units and ex the army experience you're getting up here. On top of all that, I mean, it's helpful because uh, you're making sure Venezuela cannot trade all of their resources with the Axis. You're also making sure the Axis can't can't land in Venezuela and do other crazy things. Uh, so it is good to be doing the war, even if all we're doing is changing them over to, to a democracy. So I'd love to hear you guys' opinion in the comments. Uh, should we puppet if, if we can, or should we uh, just force them into uh, democracy? I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, series. I know I am. Um, I, you know, I, Like I said before, I'm, I've really been looking forward to playing this Democratic U.S. Uh, playthrough for a while. It, it got really close to winning the votes, uh, you know, and several of the the times that we did vote uh and it just just didn't get there just not quite uh so yeah i'm glad that we're able to do this now guys but yeah next episode i mean well at least we're going to war at venezuela i don't know if i know world war ii will break out for sure it's got to break out you'd think right uh and so we might be able to join 
Probably not, though. I don't know. We'll just have to see where we get in the next episode, uh, whether world tension will be high enough, whether that, that option is going to be uh, available to us or not. And clearly, we're, we're really actually not all that ready uh, when it comes to our army, when it comes to war right now. Army is kind of looking a little bit lackluster, but I'm still willing to join because we can at least make use of our Navy and our Air Force. All right, guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. And thanks for watching.